Hello Desert Bearhawk fans, a uh, quick video. We're here in the shop and we're working on the left rear spar and um, I've been riveting away as you can see some of the rivets are set now still has some open holes so on and so forth but one thing you can see that I have laid out here now is my string. I've got the string that shoots the center line all the way down the center of this spar and um, what's important about the string or the reason I'm shooting this video tonight is because <clears throat> I was riveting away and I, and I used the uh, the uh, random rivet method in other words I'll rivet one down at one end then I'll rivet one maybe in the middle one down at the other end I skip around and the reason that I do that is, is that you don't want to rivet all your rivets in a row like these because you'll have a tendency to cause your structure to um, deform and the reason that happens is, is that as the rib, rivet is pounded down into the hole, the rivet here the shank of the rivet expands in the hole and it fills up that hole and it puts pressure on the hole and the material around it trying to force it away from the rivet as it expands. So if you were to rivet all one side you would potentially put some uh, misalignment into your spar. Now I, I'd heard this before and I thought about it and I thought well how how much could it really move the spar? Well it does. So let's have a look here with my little Zona square a little zona square sitting up against the flange of the um, bottom of the spar here, right, right there, like so. And you can see that that string's coming through right there. A little parallax going on, or right through at two and a half. I don't know if it'll focus, but you can see it. Well, while I was riveting away on the spar, things just started looking goofy to me. So I threw my string on there and I checked it. And I was actually a sixteenth of an inch out. I was a sixteenth of an inch short of being true at the center. In other words, the star started to develop a crescent shape. It started to bow towards the bottom of the spar. Now, you might say a sixteenth is not that big of a deal. Well, I think it's a pretty big deal. So I thought, well, how am I going to get this spar to straighten out? And then I remembered the discussion about how if you rivet a bunch of rivets in line, you could induce a bow. Well, I thought if I riveted all the rivets along the top of the spar, it'll expand the top out and thereby bow the top up, which will move the bottom up, which will move me back into plumb. And that's exactly what I did. And as you can see now, like I said earlier, I was a sixteenth out from two and a half, where's my scale? You can see I'm right on two and a half there. If I come down to the root, you know, it's kind of hard to see with the video phone, but uh, or the video camera on my phone, but I'm at two and a half there and I'm at two and a half in the tip. So, something to think about when you're riveting these spars is, first of all, make sure you check for plumb all the time. A sixteenth isn't that big of a deal, but to me it's a big enough deal where I wanted to worry about it. And if you find that you're out of plumb up and down ways, you can move the spar back into plumb by just riveting several rivets in a row together. So I went from about three feet either side of the center, either side of the splice joint, so the splice is right, right there. So three feet either side, I did all those rivets across the top, one right after another, starting from the splice and moving outward on either side. And it moved, it moved this spar a sixteenth of an inch. And now it's perfectly true again. So that's my little tip for the day. Um, hopefully that helps you. I know some people are probably saying, well, once you rivet the ones on the bottom, it's just going to move it back the other direction. Well, that may be, but I've been checking it pretty regular now as I rivet along and it is staying pretty perfect to, to true. So hopefully in the next day or so I'll have this done. I gotta knock off for the night because that pounding drives my neighbors crazy. But uh, hopefully by, I would say Friday, what's it, Tuesday? Yeah, by Friday this, 
this spar will be complete and it'll be straight. Straight as a string, right there you see it. All right, till next time, see you in the shop.